Hey everybody, welcome to Turn 4 in Blue Sector. This is Battalion Supply taking on a convoy mission. Now, the only thing I could find before going bankrupt is uh, a uh, one and a half skull ambush convoy um, in the lowlands here. And it's against Word of Blake, so I'm not exactly sure how this is going to turn out. But I'm dropping everybody, so let's hope that this works out well. What I'm going to do is I'm going to set up behind this ridge line here. Uh, I was thinking about standing in front of them, but that gives them the ability to shoot at all of us, and my mechs really aren't that great. So at least this provides us some cover to duck behind if we need to, well, everybody except for the Verbi, of course. And it gives us a clear access to the road here so we can fill it with mines, because this is this unit is pretty much a mine layer unit. It's designed uh, as a support unit, uh, battalion support, so the mechs that are here weren't really designed as an attack unit. If I was designing this as a combat unit, I would have designed it totally different. But anyway, let's just drop in here and see what we get. So this is the first time the battalion supply is actually uh, engaged in combat on Lhasa. Turn four, we've just been occupying hexes and um, wow. supplying the units. So they've got one unit of escorts. Okay, so it's going to be 12 oh, yeah. units probably. And we've got Wait. our pink camouflage again today, which is great. So we've got two, four, six, eight, nine. So one and a one point three to one, which I think we'll be okay with. Now loader's going to do most of the fighting. Um, this is the loader king, sixty-five ton mech, um, super shotgun, pair of mediums, pair of AC twos, industrial crane for melee, some rockets, mine dispenser, and stuff. So I think what we want to do uh, until we know what they what they're doing. I'm going to pull off be there in the chip. and be behind the roads, or behind the edge here. So Phoenix is our mine clearing guy, PPC, SRM2, and an MRM20 with tandem and improved ammo. Um, this is for when we need to move through our own mines or if enemies drop mines on us. Let's get behind this rock. Heading out. Then we've got the Crosscut, which is a melee mech. It's got a medium X-Pulse, heavy chainsaw, some rockets, heavy machine gun, mine, dis uh, uh, mine dispenser, flamer. The melee is okay on this guy. He's got okay movement, not that great. It's only a 30-ton mech, so it's not like it's going to do a lot, right? Uh, so let's pull him. Let's go this, well... So if we go around this way, that's one, two, and three turns we're into battle. Yeah, maybe. We'll stay down behind the rock a little bit. On the move. This is the Wedding Ball Irby. Once again, it's basic, basically a melee urban mech. Um, yeah, this thing's pretty much useless. I'm not sure who designed this, but it's pretty much useless. It's the uh, police mech. It's got actually... You can't tell, unfortunately, because of this, but it's got um, police lights on the top of it. Uh, then we've got a Nighthawk. This guy was assigned to us for this particular mission. Um, he's um, from House Steiner. He's just in charge of battalion supply. These guys just run a, their own supply company. Um, but anyway, it's got a large and a pair of mediums. This was a mech I actually picked up uh, with that uh, $1 million um, uh, quest line where you go pick up some rare uh, animal and for a million dollars you get a random mech so uh, that's the one I picked up it's not very good but it's okay and then we've got uh, a Toro here which I picked up in the early fighting for the game I wanted to keep a, uh, I have a mech that would kind of suit the uh, the um, lance here so we got an SRM with acid ammo and an ATM 9 with tandem ammo plus a tag barrage uh, remote sensor missiles I want to get these into play early so this mech really isn't that great but it's gonna follow the loader king into battle then we got the urban tank with the LRM-15s and the SRM-4s, and you'll see that this actual urban tank is probably going to do most of the <laughs> Roger that. most of the fighting. And then we got an urban tank with uh, Inferno and HE. And I think I'm going to go ahead and um, do this because at some point we're not going to be able to fire a lot of HE. Yeah, Concentrate baby. Your fire and bring it down. So, yeah. The best bet is to just, just fire with that thing early with the HE and get his... Oh my god, these guys are fast. 
Okay, who's up? Um, loader. We gotta get on these guys now. Alright, let's get up here. So these guys, my my unit harasser, what do we got here? Harasser, Hermes, that's interesting. A redshift, I've never seen that before. Tag barrage, which is out, two medium pulse lasers. Probably a 20 tonner. Wasp. Skulker. I think we should be okay here. Will they have Yeah, we should be fine. Alright. Um This guy's primary the, the guy that does most of our fighting. So let's get you in here. We gotta kill this scout fast, so. I want to use a shotgun on him. How much armor do you have? Nah, we should be able to deal enough damage, I think, with everybody else. You know what? Let's go with the shotgun too, why not? So the super shotgun is basically a handheld... It's 15, I think, 16 tons, I think it is? It's basically like an AC... Um, uh, an Ultra 20 autocannon. Um, that weighs... It's a 16 ton bolt-on. So you need to have two hands to be able to use it. But, um, and it's only got eight shots, so... There you go, have fun moving out of that. So what do we do to this guy? Fair bit. Um, so my mine layer truck didn't move this turn. I don't want to move him up. So I know the full situation here. We want to stay on the outside as much as we can and be just harassers. On the move, full speed. Because, like I said, this unit is not really meant for combat. So let's get our mine layer up. And we're going to drop it right in here if we can. On the road, leave the X pulse off. Engaging. Now I think. Honestly, I still believe mines are overpowered in this game. I think the spread itself is just way too much. And at lower levels, if, you've, if you're running a mine layer um, unit, there's not really much the enemy can do about it other than die. So the wedding ball, I couldn't get a mine layer on right now. Uh, or sorry, this guy couldn't get a mine layer on right now. Let's get you up here. Confirm. I'm going to engage that front vehicle from here, I think. See if we can knock it out. Well, actually, what's the chance on everybody else here? Well, not good there. That's actually pretty good on the Wasp. We'll Fire. take that instead, I think. Okay, never mind. Negative damage. Oh, it looks like they got an Irby back here. R69, okay. Yeah, I think we're in a good position. This could have been really bad. I mean, it's one and a half skulls against uh, Word of Blake, so it could have been could have been bad if they got a bunch of medium mechs. And I've seen that before, where you take like one and a half skull mission and you're dealing with a bunch of mediums. So he's taking like that's only one mine layer. He's taking thirteen mines already. Like you know what I mean? It's just that's not even with the mine layer truck up there yet. Receiving you. It's just a little bit op. So this guy's got the disco ball on him. The disco ball chem laser. It's a little ridiculous. <laughs> I'm gonna fire it off this turn, because I might as well, just so you guys can see what it looks like, but it is really ridiculous. It's a fixed number of shots, it fires four times. Report critical hit. And it's got like, I think three streams or four streams each to do like four damage or something. So it's like really minimal on the amount of damage it does. Oh, damn. Yeah, figures. Oh, that oh, hit me in the meat. Good in the job. meat, huh? Alright. Um. On my way. Gonna put a barrage down this road, so we're gonna fire at one of these guys. Probably, well, probably this guy. Not that worried about salvage on this one. Um, the tandems can jam this, so I'm gonna leave this off. I'm gonna use it for the vehicles. We'll fire the rest at this guy. Well, we missed the barrage, but hopefully one of these guys will be there when uh, it comes down. Ready to get it on. All right, surfer. No PPC, please, unless you're shooting against those guys down there. Location confirmed. 
I want to try and get multi-target for this guy so we can just target the PPC on units that aren't in our uh, arc of fire. We got pretty good chances to hit back here. I mean, we could go after the wasp. When is this? Did this guy go first? I think he did. No, he's on 14. What do we have left? I thought we got a large laser, the Verbi gunship. Now we need to kill this guy now, so let's do that. Let's remove him from the battle. The mines might have got him, but I don't think he... He only had a couple of hexes of mines to go through. It wouldn't have been enough, I don't think. Alright, so this Verbi is hilarious too, because it's got a Kalayama AC-10 with um, five shots of precision ammo. That's right, five shots. Then we're down to rockets and a medium laser. And it really isn't that fast either. Like, I mean... It just I isn't copy. that fast. I mean, it's okay for quick strikes, but other than that, it's really useless. And you want to save it till you have a good shot on somebody, right? 56 isn't bad, but we're going to wait till we get a little closer, I think. Alright. Yeah? Snowbound down. Uh, you're not quite ready to get up in there and fight right, yet. Full speed. So this car cargo truck's got a lot of mine dispensers on it. It's the same cargo truck as the uh, HQ unit has. It really has no armor. I mean, it's it's enough to take move in, take a shot, and get out of there, but that's all it does, right? The two heavy machine guns are the, oh shit, I need a vehicle to do something real fast weapon. And it's the only one you've got left. All right, uh, I hear ya. let's give him an ultimatum. Let's put this down somewhere in here. Time see what we die. get. Nope, I think that was a miss. Yeah, these guys haven't even got to the big minefield yet. Once this mine truck lays its mines, these guys are pretty much done. Ignis SRM, they're not going to make it to the other right end of the here. road. Mm -hmm. Alright, well... Alright, we got a line of sight on the... Yep. Uh, is it the harasser up here? 23. 12. 4. Yeah, I mean. We got lots of ammo. Got 13 turns of LRM fire, so it's plenty. Okay, but that AC2. Ooh, nice shot. Armor's holding, Commander. Nothing to see here. It better be if I was just shooting at you with an AT AC2. Hopefully these guys will drift in here. Get a little bit of damage from that barrage, but the mines are going to take care of them, I think, really quick. I think I'm just going to... I was going to put it right here, the mine layer truck, but I think we're going to put it right here. Finish them off early, I think. We'll just have to wait till he gets up there, though. Uh-huh. Uh, what was that? Was he shooting even though he fell on the ground? Waiting for orders. All right, we need to get in. Do you be able to use the spectacular? It's a one-shot weapon. It's really pretty useless. Um, <laughs> uh, I want to at least melee once with this guy today. Let's get into a position where we can do that, though. Let's get over here. Get close to these guys so we can move in next turn and fight. I'm gonna get the cross cut up here too. So 29, 28. Let's go with the disco laser and the rockets on this guy. Yeah, baby. Are we having fun yet? Nice. The rubs are all gone, Commander. You can see why these guys are not rated as. Uh, as more than one and a half skulls. They just, like, if these guys had like three medium mechs with half decent armor, uh, there's just no way I can do enough damage to them to like, make it worth my while, you know? Uh, we don't want to lose stability first, so I'll take the... 
Hmm. I want to shoot, but I don't want to expose. That's actually not too bad. Let's move here. Roger. Take a shot with the medium X pulse on this guy. Let's go after this leg. Um. Yeah, we might as well wind this up too because what the hell? Taking the shot. There goes that leg. Oh, he bailed. Beautiful. I was going to say we don't need to shoot him anymore because yeah, as soon as he stands up, we can finish him off, but like the mines will do it. All right, so the Phoenix got some half-decent armor, so we're going to present the Phoenix to them as a target. And I think we want to go over there and do... So the mine ladies are out of range back here, right? Oh, they're not. Are you serious? Well, that's just ridiculous. Yeah, see, the range on these two is just crazy. I was lucky because early on I, I found a couple of uh, mine layer trucks in the missions I was fighting. I'm out of SRM. So I grabbed all of the mine layers. I cut off of them in the salvage and I grabbed the mine layer truck parts. So I do have one extra part for a mine layer truck and I've got two extra cargo truck parts. So if my mine layer gets destroyed and I get a couple of pieces back, I can put together another mine layer. So I'm, okay. I'm lucky that way. Like, this is for offline pay, not for Lassa, because Lassa I won't be able to do it, but... Um, but yeah, so, like, I've been really lucky that way. Waiting for orders. Alright, Toro, let's get you to some cover. We're gonna go after this vehicle, I think. We're gonna throw up the uh, tandem ammo. Uh, I can't use the remote sensors because we're going to be going in there and that'll give them sensors on us. So. Actually, that's an interesting thought. So the remote good. sensor missiles lays basically a minefield like this that when you run through them, attaches sensors to you to make you easier to hit. But is that only for your units or does that work for against, against you as well? Like, do the enemies get a better chance to hit you? That I don't know the answer to. Holding. Ready for orders. Full speed. Sounds good. Going full throttle. Now this Verbi doesn't have a lot of armor either. Right? It's it's like enough to kind of get in and get a couple shots off and get away. If you're fighting a competent enemy, don't expect this thing's gonna survive. Alright, um, Dirty, huh? Let's target this wasp. We'll hold on to the rockets till next turn. Copy that. Nice. Reporting critical. These guys have got nice colors. Got nice colors on their mech. Too bad we're wrecking it. Oh shit, we gotta kill this guy. So he went through 28 mines. He should be in a position to die now. I noticed the mines damage mostly the sides, but I guess it does the fund a little bit too. So that guy's in a position to die horribly. Right here. And we will do that with loader, I think. Moving to position. I could engage the farther mech, but I want up max, but I want these guys to do something, so we're gonna kill this guy here. Uh, we might as well use the super shotgun because we can. And uh, let's give it to him. Ooh, not enough. Hopefully the mines will be able to kill him next turn. What I do want to do is want to find an AMS Mark II so I can I can outfit yeah. a unit with just the AMS Mark II. If I can get a couple of them, that would be great. Just to cover these guys. I got it. Don't think. Don't shoot. Just run. The problem with trying to use lighter mechs is like melee mechs and stuff is that... Um, it's hard for them to get in, to get in close without losing all their armor. So at least if you got a couple of AMS marks, Mark IIs, you can rip out all the missiles before they get to them. After the Verbi, are you? Don't blame you. Yep. All right, snowbound down. Here it comes. Oh, you can't actually. Okay, well that's not bad, right there. Confirmed. 
And let's ensure that nothing gets through here. Watch the spread on this. Like, it really is ridiculously OP. SRMs are out. And you could say no. Like, I mean, at higher levels, obviously not, right? If, if you're up to medium mech, sure. As soon as... Uh, 35 mines. He hasn't even gone through the rest of this yet. You know what I mean? It's like... Standing and by. if I wanted to go behind the hills now and just sit back here and let these guys finish themselves off, it's totally doable. Alright, well... This is the Nighthawk. The Nighthawk! We're in melee range for these guys down here. <laughs> Excuse me. So this guy... It's the wield APC. That's the redshift. Kind of want to go out on the redshift. I think the vehicles are going to play themselves out in the mines here. So let's get... Actually, you know what? No, because I want my melee max on those two guys over there. So let's get up to here. Coordinates received. We'll have a quick look at these guys. So you still got lots of armor. Well, not really. Still got a ways to go. This guy here, yeah, he's done next turn. We got the best chance on this guy. Might as well get the bolt-on rockets going. We'll just fire at this guy. Here it comes. There goes the leg. Oh man, we're getting lucky with our shots today. Hot damn. Let's do this. Yeah, let's do this. SRMs are out. It's weird, um, I don't know, I'm, I'm kind of up in the air with the, uh, with some of the starts on these. Waiting on you, Commander. Like the Rusty Dan start, um, that's what the start is with these guys. Um, let's see if we can make this guy reconsider his life choices. Nope, apparently not. Stand but the Rusty still. Dan start, you start off with a 65 ton mech. Hey, we got a little bit of damage in. And while it has, like, yeah. heavy okay. industrial armor and, like, you know, it's 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 okay. Wait, are we on a new turn already? Um, and while it's okay when you start, it has so many hard points on this thing that when as you start getting gear and loading it out, it quickly... Um, it quickly becomes no a very um, powerful mech for the Rusty rusty Dan start. Let's go after this guy's legs. He'll leave the shotgun off. I want to try and get some salvage from this guy. Let's just go this route. Come on, Bale. Nah. Alright, here we go. Now, um... We can't. So, I've been informed that apparently some of the, um, like, uh, melee distances, so I think you have, it, it calculates how far into the hex the enemy is, so even though I could technically maybe move that far and attack him, he's just outside of my real attack range, so um, I can't actually attack him. So we're going to move into here, though. Like he's just out, like just outside of my movement range, so I can't actually melee him, based on how far into the hex he is. So this is the guy. That's the wasp. Oh, it's. Couldn't I step on this guy because he's down? No, let's target the wasp. Let's go after his leg. No, fuck it. It's a wasp. Let's go after his head. We got lots of shots here, so let's do it. Ten fun. Yeah, a whole lot of nothing. Oh, we got a head hit, though. Hit. Nice. All out of AC2 ammo. All right, this guy doesn't have enough range either. But hopefully we will, we will in the next turn, we can step on this vehicle. Go after his head. Bolt on incendiaries. Machine guns. Wind it up. Let's fire it all. Headshot, please. Locked up. Not enough to knock him out. All right, fair enough. What do you need? 
Um, I need you to take a shot at the same guy. Let's get in the trees here, though. Move into position. Yeah, this would definitely be a different story against, uh... Roger. Against medium mechs. Well, he's done. Mech destroyed. I just don't have the DPS on these guys to really be Got able to apply damage. And even though I've got a PPC on this guy, it really is no limited. On my way. But I've, I've committed myself to... Maybe I just kill this guy early. I've committed myself to using it. And not taking it off this mech. Because it's technically a mine clearing weapon. These guys are supposed to be Vehicle utility down. crew. So I can't drop it. So it really doesn't have... It's got limited use, basically. With this particular setup. You don't need to move. Let's just shoot this guy. Soften him off a bit for those minefields. I did a bit of damage to the Nighthawk. Not much. Good to go. Yeah, the Nighthawk's very limited. It's got three hard points. So it's not like it's um it's not like it's an overpowering mech. I think it's like 30 tons. Three laser hard points or something. Uh, I'll take the 50% chance. Affirmative. Ah, well. He was covered by smoke. That's what I'll say. That's a myth. Yeah, it wasn't your fault. The, the targeting systems are janky in the smoke. That's what happens every time. Uh, can we get a... I guess we can't get a shot on anybody else. Oh, we can pull from over here. The ATMs on the vehicle. Can we get to a... We can. Open position. Position confirmed. I gotta just be careful this thing doesn't get damaged. Wow, it's pretty low. Oh, I've only got... I got SRM Acid... Oh, I forgot I had Thunder on this thing. Is that all I have? Yeah. Screw it. Let's use it. I think I've only got like half a ton or something. I don't think it's a lot. I think I picked that up just before I actually came to the planet. What can I do for you? Um, I think we're going to get more success doing this. I'm uh, going with Inferno. If I use HE, I'll get rid of all the mines. There we go. What do you need? And you are done for today. Bugging out. You can just sit back here now. Goodbye. He didn't take a lot there. But he's just entering the thickness of the minefield too, so... I wonder if we can melee that Irby. Okay, he's getting up. So that's like, I guess, is, is this like a signature spider? So he's not going anywhere. He's turned his side to us. Orders. Um, let's get the chainsaw working for us. We're gonna go, so he's damaged on fucking directions god damn it on this side right am I getting it right I'm probably getting it right I'm getting it wrong aren't I I don't know 88 84 with the punch 84 with the charge by the way all the enemies that have charged me so far in, in all the battles that I fought um, like offline from this playthrough and everywhere else I would say probably at least 90% of them hit, have hit me regardless of how far away they've come and how much ECM I have I don't I don't know it's ridiculous. And then when I go to check my mine from a long distance run, it's like, you have a 24% chance to hit. I'm like, what? How are they getting me and I can't get them? Anyway, enough bitching. Let's kill this guy. Locking in coordinates. Yeah. yeah, baby. Finally. Chainsaw. We've got to make sure we kill the crew, too. One more for the trash heap. Thanks, Bubba. Commander. Alright, overhead. Let's, um... 
get to a position so that Irby can't see us right away. Because we're going to go after him next turn. We move in here. Ah, let's just disco laser this guy. Back. See what I mean? It's so wacky. It uses like chem laser ammo. Receiving you. All right. Um, what can you do here? Uh, we don't want to thunder anymore because we want to get in there and fight this guy next turn. So let's switch this to tandem. Urban mech. Confirm. Hopefully he'll move out of there. We're going to go after the vedette with this guy. Yeah, we'll use everything on him. Try and kill him right now. You say, boss. So the AC did hit that time, which is nice. 70 damage is pretty good. Critical hit, Commander. I'm out of short-range missiles. Commander. All right, server dude. Do I care at this point about the mines? They're not getting past me, so I don't really care. Uh, let's go after this guy. Target confirmed. Of course the PPC misses. Leg him, leg him. No, really? Yeah, a couple points left. Who's up? Commander. You think you can take this guy's leg? Maybe. Moving out. Maybe. It's the night, Hawk. Alright. Come on. 27 the CT. So let's just try it this way and maybe we get lucky. There you go. Target eliminated. Yeah, man. All right, who's up? Loader. The Loader King. These AC2s with precision ammo are just crazy for target. I think I've got a um, uh, Mark III... Um, um, uh, optic sensors on this thing so at range I got like I, I can see things at a thousand meters so it just gives yeah. me a really good chance to hit I'm not gonna bother move we're just gonna pe we're just gonna pepper this guy make him a little easier to take down with the melee who's up waiting on you commander drop some heat on these guys no sweat we're going to be standing in heat when we get up there, but I don't care because we're going to be meleeing, so it's not a big deal. Oh, you missed, damn it. Okay, so that's this guy. Barely hit, Commander. <laughs> You're just slowing him down. Hey, hey, watch the heat. That vedette's done. Oh, he's backing up. God damn it. Yeah? Let's try and go around behind the, uh... We don't got a lot of speed right now. I'm taking heat damage. I see that. It's so hot in here. I'm gonna puke. Don't fucking puke. I ain't cleaning it out. If you puke in there, you gotta clean it out, buddy. We're gonna go after that Irby in a second, but... Let's get this guy first. Actually, let's go do some damage to this guy. Uh, we'll leave the X-Pulse off. Wow, still hot, huh? No, we're not. I'm out of SRM. Soften him up for the minefield. Ready for orders. Ranchiro. Um. Now what? Let's just reserve. Roger that. Standing by. What's up, boss? Well, all right, get up to here, I guess. Affirmative. Hopefully, maybe next turn we can see those guys. It's good to go. I have a feeling Sting will do most of the work here and finish these guys off. Let's get to where the really. Let's 
Get to where the Irby can't see us. Since he's still going to be alive. Target this guy. And firing. Wow, really? Precision yeah. ammo. Managing heat. Yeah, nothing. Busting off. Receiving you. All right. Um. Let's get into Bye. here. This guy's gonna die when he moves. This guy, on the other hand, we might get lucky. Well, at least we got the large on there. All right. Hey there. And Chiro. I wish the remote sensors weren't um, direct line of sight. I've been having some good success using the sensors. I've been trying to get my um, first Astrakhazi militia unit, my vehicle unit, back up and running again so I can use them in the next stage for Battle of Astrakhazi. And I've been trying to use a lot of remote sensors because trying to get a vehicle unit going and, and up your difficulty is really, really hard unless you have good vehicles. Because the loss Commander. rate is really high. Like, it's really high. Alright, this guy. Here, you go. Here we go. Oops, I made a mess. You did. So, you got a micro laser? Light damage. I'm going to do something I've never done before. It's crazy and it's stupid, but I'm going to do it. Because it's me. I hear you. Um, let's... Do nothing. Sounds smart. I think we have enough fire over there to start with. Yes, command. Okay, get up here. You're on fire. Drop a little bit of heat. Ready for orders. All right, I've never done this. Death from above. I don't think we can use our weapons in death from above. Seventy-four percent chance. Here it goes. Firing jump jet. How's it going, Bubba? That hit something good. Yeah. <laughs> now that's the beautiful way to end a mission. Oh, it wasn't over. What's up, Commander? Damn. I, I forgot we had the the uh, vedette. I should have killed him. Ah, that sucks. Oh well. What do you do? Alright, just move up here. Aye, aye. I don't move the lo the uh, Loader King in uh, situations like that because if the, he's gonna fire at anybody, I want him to give him, give him a beautiful target against the Loader King. That way he's more apt to shoot for him. That's right. There we go. Last round. Yeah, you better, because you ain't picking this up here. Not with all these mines everywhere. Mission successful. So this lance is rated at two skulls. Um, but it's because of all the tech we have in these mechs. Like a lot of, like, I, I think I try to put heavy industrial armor in most of my mechs. Like heavy industrial, I think this guy's got heavy industrial, does he? No, maybe he doesn't. He's got spiked. I think it comes with spiked. But I did try to put it in a bunch of them. Um, and I do have extras. I think I put it in the, uh... Did I put it in the... I didn't put it in the Nighthawk. Did I put it in the Toro? Yeah, I did. I put it in the Toro. So, I mean... Yeah, I'm trying to... I'm trying to stay true to the, kind of, this type of playthrough. Just to see what we can get out of it. Um, but I did have to buy the Argo early. Okay, so we got three parts of anything. I can't assemble anything on the planet. Oh, we got a full urban mech. R69. One ballistic, two laser, two missile. That's actually a pretty darn good platform. Let's just see what else is down here. Medium pulse lasers. 
I need longer range weapons. Ultra 10. Hmm. Maybe we take the three parts of the urban mech and an Ultra 10. XL engine for C bills, which I should probably take. Double heatsink kit. Ultra 10 ammo. So there's not enough ammo really for the Ultra 10. 10 shots is only giving us five turns of firing, I guess. I guess that's okay. Um, do I go with the sea bills? I can't assemble anything here on the planet anyway. Although that urban mech was a bailout, so technically I could turn it into a Frankie, but I, I don't. I don't need a mech at this moment. You know what? Let's stay true to the playthrough. Let's grab it, and if we need to assemble a Frankie, we can. Right now on the planet, we're cut off. We've lost our jump ships. The drop ships have been destroyed. We're stuck on this Brock. So I better take that, just in case. And then I think we take... Oh, man, I'm going to need money to jump around to try and take missions. Maybe the Guardian ECM. Do we have one? We don't. Going to have to go and do a milk run, I guess. Let's take the Guardian ECM. I think overall that's probably the best way to go. Double heatsink kit would be wasted on an herb on this guy anyway. I don't know what the Urban Mech had on it. I'll try and keep it, um, like stay true to what it was. It may have been the Ultra 10. It may have been an Ultra 10 Herbie, but the Ultra 10 was busted. So we'll see how it goes. All right, we got an Ignis part, Redshift part. That's it's 20 tons, eh? That's interesting. The debt wasp part SRM twos, which I don't really need. Hundred ton core. Mm, I'll hang on to standard fire control systems. We don't need more than one barrel jump jet. I'll hang on to that. The mass definitely we hang on to. We'll take that and the SRM safe ammo. Yeah, I'm gonna hang on to that. All right. Well, that wasn't too bad. So that was. Uh, Turn four for Battalion Supply on Blue Sector and Lassa. I'm going to leave this here. I'm not going to bother assembling that Urban Mech. Um, actually, you know what? Let's go ahead. Uh, we, I should probably do that just so I can remember for the future. Let's just assemble it. Uh, and it'll sit there and I can build it as a Frankie if I need to. So let's go and... It was the R69. So ready that. And just for the sake of it, let's have a look and just make sure. So let's have a refit on this guy. I love the colors on this <laughs> on this unit, the uh, bright red and yellow. So nothing. Nothing at all. So what did it have? We repaired all. So a 60 core. And it was the Ultra 10 version. And that's it. Ultra 10's and ER small. Wow, it's got missile hard points and it didn't use any of them. Okay, so if I was to reassemble that, I would have to go with an AC-10. Do I have ammo for it? That's the question. Because it has to be, if you're building a Frankie, it's got to be close to the original as possible. So AC-10 with regular ammo. Uh, but because it's not the Ultra, the Ultra weighs how much? 12? That's the ammo. There. Uh, it weighs 13. So it's got two shots, so I would probably allow use of precision. It's only five shots, like one ton of uh, AC-10 ammo, one ton of precision to balance it out. And then ER small and a small pulse, eh? I don't think I've got those exact weapons. I do have a ER small and a regular small. I could probably drop both of those in. And then the heat sinks I know I have, the jump jets I know I have, the 60 core is another thing. So would I be able to put together a Frankie? Oh, I mean, 85 as close as I have. Yeah, maybe I could probably try and keep it as close to the original. So it had Pharo. Did it have Endo? No Endo, eh? That's interesting. So, I mean, yeah, I could probably get it pretty close to the original if I was to do it. That's still seven heat sinks that we would need, which I have barely. Just for the sake of argument. 
I'm not going to actually do this, so I'm just going to assemble what I have here just to see if I can get this to Frankie Frankicize. So that, then ammo we would do that for the one ton of no, ultra ammo, and then that to offset the weight of this. And then one and a half tons left, we will go internals, nope, weapons, um, ER small, small, and is that it? So the small pulse laser was one ton, right? Oh, and then two jump jets, so... Do I have jump jets? That's the question. Oh yeah, I do. Durr. No, that's half ton over, so I have to take the small laser out. Or... Yeah. Probably go that route. That would probably equalize it. Oh wait, we've got an extra heatsink. That's why. No, we don't. I just put it in the wrong spot. That's why. Yeah, so that would be the Frankie there if we did it. So that kind of gives you an idea. Like, I mean, I know that this core is a little heavier. That's probably why we couldn't get everything in. But, I mean, that's the idea behind the Frankies. You have to build it almost exactly like it was uh, in order to be able to refield it. So basically, it's like you're just fixing the head up with something. You're sticking, sticking something in to rebuild the head. And everything else is supposed to remain the same because that mech basically just it had everything intact technically so that would be the idea behind the frankies you would just rebuild it like i had no back armor like this thing would just have to stand back and shoot from a distance it's almost like a waste of a mech <laughs> but if i was going to build it as a frankie that's how it would have to happen all right well i'm going to leave this episode here guys i hope you enjoyed it so like, like i said that's the end of turn four for the Battalion Supply, Blue Sector on the battle for Lhasa, taking out the one and a half Skull Convoy. Um, I think uh, Conrad's Commandos are going to be taking on, while they're down two pilots, they're going to be taking on some of the mobile unit. So that's that playthrough will be down there. Um, I think Midnight is actually running a playthrough on this one too. I'm not 100% sure. I'm recording this probably before he's done his mission. And um, I think... Um, the uh, 4M Wrecking Crew, I think, is elected to uh, refit, refit and repair this turn in, in Orange Sector, so they're probably not going to be posting anything. And I know the HQ has uh, just moved to a strategic position, so it's not fighting this turn either. So just check out the other videos in the description of the original, or of the uh, turn 4 uh, Battle for Lhasa. And um, yeah, I'm going to leave the episode here. Hope you enjoyed it. Till next time, we'll see you later.